those principles are there. And, they do, and it does say, of course, public servants are citizens who have personal views and are entitled to express political views also. However, what's the context? And how do you present it? I mean, that's not verbatim, but there are, those are essentially the principles of our call. Yeah, you don't so, have to So, at the federal level, and it helps you at the treasury level, at the federal level, those things are explicit and uh, available and, and provide for public comment and, and I suppose, give some structure to um, online engagement. That said, I do think there are a whole lot of contexts which have to be considered as well. And also, I think there's differences between agencies as to what's, what types of tools are deployed and successfully and for what benefit. So it's a movable piece in that, in many respects. And judgments need to occur at all other levels in specific cases as to what applies. But in terms of whether the public servant can put themselves out there, it's all context at the federal level. Yeah, just very, very quickly, I, I, I'd like to say that I just read a superb uh, blog post from John Sheridan on tweeting for your country, and I recommend everyone read it because it, it really is very succinct, extremely well written, and answers most of these questions in, in an incredi incredibly interesting and insightful way. So, uh, thanks for that. Yeah, I have just question whether everything published is actually an official statement on behalf of the agency because I know certainly Queensland Police have plenty of things that are published on their social media sites that are clearly not uh, official statements on behalf of the agency, most of them are jokes. But, um, and they're just, they're, and there's a very clear understanding that they are not official statements on behalf of the agency, even though they're on the official agency social media sites. Uh, Yeah. 
Because that's what it is. I mean, before you join Twitter, for example, uh, commonly people think, oh, Twitter is about drivel about what someone had for breakfast. That, that's the common perception. Because they don't that. understand. Just a thought on this. Something that might have been talked about some time ago, but it's never come to fruition because things haven't progressed that way. But when we're looking at how we manage our website and how we would provide space for bloggers and, and other types of social media activity. The concept, and it's purely the concept, never got taken up, was to, was to kind of quarantine an area of the website for informal comment. So you clearly somehow delineate it so, so that you keep the traffic on your main site and you're not, at least in the neighbourhood of your main materials and that any relevance policy documents or other resources were quite um, proximate and easily accessible to most sites. We were thinking that we quarantine a space, you know, call it a block farm, or somehow distinguish it from the remainder of the site, and have different protocols around content that apply from it, and make that explicit, have a statement saying that this is purely you know, a playground or you know, a place for commenting and responding, and say this, but nothing here represents policy unless it quotes mm -hmm. policy. A safe space. Well, that's effectively what you're saying. Keep it your same or, or, yeah. or a playground, but, but explicitly you frame it in this sense that this is where we interact, but it doesn't represent mm -hmm. government policy. Mm -hmm. If you want government policy, you go up to the policy page, you go up to the program page, you go up to the ministerial statements. Can I just say that we find on our Facebook page we post incredibly, Queensland posts, I'm not back on the speaking profession, Queensland posts post incredibly serious information about people killed in car crashes and murders and things like this. But as I say, we also post jokes, cow puns, and, and funny things, and participate with other police agents talking. And those those things happen right next to each other on the same page, and the public has no problem at all, you know, discriminating that this is very serious matter and this is joking around, and there's, there's never an issue. With that at all. Yeah, I mean, going back, you know, way before online. Isn't it a bit like a newspaper? You know, if you took the Australian mm. newspaper, you've got the serious news, world news, and so forth. Yeah, then you get to the back, and you've got sort of social stuff and comics, and yeah. you know. And yeah, but the it. government doesn't run the newspaper, right? That's an important difference. So it isn't in the government's interest um, to provide a platform for negativity because that's not what the government does. No, no. Um, so, so whereas I you know, applaud the notion of discussion and James's um, comments about the conversation on Facebook and things like that, yes, there's a place for that, but what you're not going to do in government is provide a platform for anti-government mm. messages. No. Um, no, I think you just have to be, that's the reality yeah. of the situation. Yeah, that's right. It isn't actually a good use of public money. It, the interesting comparison, though, and I think this is um, a, a challenging one, um, government has previously, hundreds of years ago, created public spaces where people could talk in. Um, it's created um, libraries or meetings where people could meet in and things like that. Um, it's the question of how far do you go down that track um, in, in providing an opportunity for people to engage in things exactly. without it deteriorating. Mm. And it's a very great challenge because it deteriorates really, right. really quickly. Mm. Um, yeah, very clear the, rules on, on yeah. what happened. Yeah. So you, you end up as a sort of referee to a bum fight. Yes, yes. Just jump in, there's a room moderator. We're almost at lunch time, so we might just sort of get some basic questions. But we also support what well, I'm going to say. I actually um, don't think you have to moderate. In, in terms of... Hey, he's not. <laughs> 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 yeah, you have to be sure she... One final thing, though, quite quickly. Um, and this is about the attention to your attention to is we're not citizens in any services in this room, but if we're all tweeting from our departments or from our divisions within our departments, how do we present the view of our state government or our government in total, how do we come across those boundaries and make sure that you know, the people we're talking to understand that we can't comment on something that's an how do we manage that kind of thing? I really think it gets back to having really strong protocols and procedures and making sure, the education thing again, that everyone, every employee, just as when they sign on, understand, really genuinely understands what they can do and what they can't do, and then give the responsibility over to them. I think, uh, look, can I just make one comment? Which would you like to be talking? Let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. Yeah, grab us. Okay, let's grab one. Thanks, everyone.